Hey guys, welcome to another episode. What the hell did he just say? I thought he was of Odd Man Out. Se habla espanhol, há subtítulos disponíveis abaixo. Se você fala português, tem legendas aqui embaixo. É só clicar. And piquito de adabo, piquito de adabo, real hasta la moreta, moreta. Thank you so Estamos much to clear. Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. Stick around to the end to learn how to get a free trial of premium passion for soccer. Go! We brought together seven Latinos. Soy Latina. Yo soy Latina. Yo soy Latino. Yo soy Latina. Yo soy Latino. Yo soy Latino. Yo soy Latino. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll win a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the cash prize. This is, this is easy. As a, as a member of the Latino community, because uh, I am part Latino, um... Jubilee is my one of my favorite videos, my favorite creators. As part Latino, Hispanic, um, I know who is fake and who is not. Or I know who's fake and who's real. And I guarantee by the end of this video, I will, <laughs> I will figure out who the imposter is. It's odd man now. I got it. Obviously, just from my face, you're going to think she's... Definitely think you're Asian. Latina? Like hell, like heck no. All I hope is that I don't get eliminated in the first round because I have so much to show people about Brazil. I'm gonna have to. All right, I'm gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest. The Atachi clan does not have any Hispanics there. I, 100%. You you with this back there? I, I, I The Uchiha clan. I said the Atachi. The Uchiha clan. There's no Hispanics. I'm immediately sus of Andre immediately that I don't get eliminated in the first round because I have so much to show people about Brazil I'm gonna have to try to prove my Latino-ness as soon as I can and then this man threw on he threw on a, a porch what is this Argentina jersey you know what I'm saying he threw on an Argentina jersey for this video I'm sus of him too he's trying too hard he's trying way too hard and I'm very nervous I don't like to lose hey hi guys hi. What's up? Hi. Hello. So where's everyone's from? That's the obvious question. Let's start. I'm Puerto Rican Mexican. We have a couple Mexicans here. My name is from Los Altos de Jalisco. I'm from Dominican Republic. I'm from Brazil. I, I'm the only one that speaks Portuguese here. Damn, I can't prove I speak Portuguese because no one will understand me. <laughs> I mean, it's similar. Do you follow Portuguese? Follow Portuguese. Yeah, I do. Argentina, Buenos Aires. Oh, you too as well? Oh, wow. You guys should ask each other's question to make sure. The province, yeah. <laughs> what province? Province, yes. I don't know. I kind of like this one. I ain't never seen this. I ain't never seen this this combo before. This wombo combo. This wombo combo kind of hit different. This that number six at the Krusty Krab. I, I've never seen the number six. This is a new menu item right here. What is Asian in, in Argentina? I like this. I'm from Buenos Aires, Capital Federal. And you? What about you, Tomas? Me? Well, all right. Uh, I'm living in the... He's stuttering too much. I'm, I'm, I think he's my number one suspect. U.S. and I was born in the U.S. But my mom was uh, from Martinez, Buenos Aires, and my you dad got is a, from uh, La Vizaneda. My parents live in La Vizaneda. Nah, you, yeah. got, you guys' accents okay. are on fire right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm living in Costa Rica, and I'm actually like super excited because I feel like we never get representation like anywhere. Yeah. Like everyone knows like Argentina, uh, Brazil, and yeah. whatnot. But Costa Rica is like Puerto Rico, and like no. It's different. Yeah, I feel the same thing about like representation is super important. So I'm like half Puerto Rican, half Mexican, but I was raised by my mom. So I, I relate more culturally with Puerto Rico. What about you, Miguel? Yeah, Miguel, I want to hear from Miguel. Yeah. The only guy that looks lighter than me. <laughs> my parents taught me both English and Spanish at the same time growing up. People speaking to me in English just think I'm white. And people speaking to me in Spanish just think like I'm Hispanic. Now, Tomas, you mentioned us looking white though. Do you ever have any experiences where people just don't think you're Latino because of like how you look? Oh yeah, all the time. People will literally like deny it to my face when I'm literally like, I'm Latino, like I speak Spanish. And they'll be like, no, you're not. No, you don't. And I'm, I'm like, how are you going to tell me? And Argentina has a lot of white people. like Yeah. Andre too, because I was talking to my friend um, and she's Brazilian and people are like Brazilian are not Latinos, but it's like, yes, it's in Latin America, the biggest oh, country. Yeah. I mean, technically, they're not Hispanic, but they're definitely Latino. I just feel like she, she, I feel like she's a Karen. I don't know. I, I, every time she talks, I just kind of, I blank out. I blank out when she talks. I just feel like she calls fits at the local store over coupons, bro. 
I feel like she she's one of those, bro. I just want to vote her off because it look like she gives people trouble. I, vote her off immediately. Just talking English, everyone just. He looks like a barber in the Dominican shops, the, the, the Puerto Rican shops. He's definitely a barber in there. Just assumes that I'm black and then no one just said, no one really ever thinks. That. And that's funny because my girlfriend, when I came in here, that she said, watch you be like the darkest person here. And I'm pretty sure she was right. So <laughs> I went to visit New York and I was curious to see like if people would think I was Latina or not. Cause I feel like I don't give off the vibe sometimes. Someone told me I was Asian. Oh, well, I. Now let's go back. <laughs> I went to visit. Let's go back, rewind. If I'm looking at you, there's nobody in their right mind calling you a that where, where? Yeah, vote her off. Vote her off, please. She's she's the, she's the fake. She's the phony. I figured her out. Is it New York? And what is she talking I was curious about? to see like if people would think I was Latina or not because I feel like I don't give off Asian. The vibe sometimes. Someone told me I was Asian. Oh, well, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, oh, damn. Please vote. For round yeah. one, I would say it was pretty hectic. I think they felt I was legit. Hopefully. I feel like I didn't speak enough. Yeah, no, you spoke too much. You and too I didn't much. speak in Spanish. Followers vote who is the mole. Dang, Island, they vote, they voted the eight. I'm going to vote Miguel. Miguel? Miguel. He doesn't look at all as a Mexican. Miguel is way too obvious. Elki, you gotta go out first. He didn't sell me. Miguel? I am suspicious of Tomas. He showed up in an Argentina jersey. That's the same thing I said. He showed up in an Argentina jersey, bro. He showed up in an Argentina jersey. He's trying too hard. He didn't sell me. Miguel? I am suspicious of Tomas. He showed up in an Argentina jersey. Could just be a fan. Angela, she would ask the question, we would answer, and then she would build off what we said. So it's kind of easier to, you know, get an answer from that. The votes are in. Okay, let me just put my vote in now so y'all won't say I, I lied and said I had that person. I'm voting Thomas. Thomas is my number one. And then two is Elkie. That, that's my top two, but if I had to choose, I'm voting Thomas. And for round one. I'm like, my heart is racing right now. Bro, I swear to God. And the person eliminated this Don't round do it. is... Don't do it. Miguel. What? Oh, my God. Mm. Why would they vote Miguel? Bye, Miguel. Bye, Miguel. Bye, Miguel. Yeah, Didn't you vote Miguel? We bummed to be out. I mean... Is he one of... Is he one of the... Wait, let me go back. <laughs> Miguel. Miguel. Hopefully... I'm going to vote. Did he vote Miguel. Miguel? Miguel. Miguel. He doesn't look at all as a Mexican. Miguel is way too <laughs> obvious. Yo. <laughs> Yo, he played Among Us too much during uh during the Among Us season. We would answer and then she would build off what we said. <laughs> look at look at the show he put on after Miguel is. left. Don't do it. Miguel. What? Oh my god. Mm. Why would they vote Miguel? Bye, Miguel. Bye, Miguel. Bye, Miguel. Yeah, I'm really bummed to be out. I mean, I was looking forward to sharing my culture and talking about different aspects of my culture, and I just got round one, dude. <laughs> I got a video. Nope, don't want to see it. Nope, 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 nope. Round two. This is the Fiesta round. You will each have one minute to tell us about your favorite cultural or family party tradition. I'm very nervous. But this is cool. What fun. are you doing, I'll step, have to talk bro? About you guys all know it's the biggest party in the world. Hey yo, Gail, appreciate that follow. Basically, three, three million people in the streets, and we are all dressing costumes, and with our faces painted, we are all shirtless, like the guys only, the girls, not <laughs> not all of them. We are high fiving random people that we don't know. We are hugging people. There's a lot of kissing. There is also some problems about carnival, like you could get robbed, but it's okay. You will still have fun if you get robbed. Any city you go, there will be a party going on it's crazy that's the the word to describe it everything he said you can just learn from watching the movie rio the little bird flying around so in argentina i mean since we're like a pretty catholic dominated country and all that we all celebrate mostly christmas and navidad bro that was the most bland description thomas is the guy bro little bird flying bro thomas so in argentina i mean since we're like a pretty catholic dominated country and all that we all celebrate mostly Christmas and- Oh my, if Thomas is not it, then it like, he's just the most confused Hispanic person about his culture I've ever seen in my life. Navidad. He doesn't seem very excited. F 
Feliz Navidad. That's his explanation. They gave you a minute to... Listen, Angela. Why are you looking at me like Angela? She kind of... I had to stop this sentence. Angela looking kind of... What is it? Bonita? Bonita? Aye. I did. In Argentina, I've been there for Argentina and during Argentina and it's, it's summer in Argentina for Christmas. What is he even talking about? What is he talk? Listen to, what Argentina, is he? I've been there for Argentina and during Argentina and it's, it's summer in Argentina for Yo, <laughs> if he's not it, I like, I, I, this guy's an idiot. If he's so not it, different. Um, there's fireworks going on like the whole night. <laughs> Let's look at everybody listening to Argentina. Me. I've been there for Argentina <laughs> and during Argentina, and it's it's summer in Argentina for Christmas, so it's different. Um, look at just look at everybody's face. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with him? David just looking at him. He sent up his next appointment at the barber shop. Elky. <laughs> <laughs> she's clipping her coupons. Angela, she's just like, what the fuck? Andre, he's want to tell him to shut up. Thomas, get the um, fuck off the show, bro. There's You're fireworks it. going on like the whole night. We eat empanadas. There's usually a salo, obviously. Empanadas. I say empanadas. I know what empanada we, is. We take a lot of pride into it. And we like to have fun. And mm, have I feel like there should be something more exciting, especially with like football and up. stuff. No matter where you are, you're more than likely going to see fireworks. Do you know the different types of cuts for the meats for the asado? Uh, like different, <laughs> like different types of meat. I got you're them. right. You're what you're saying. Nah, I mean, bro. There's chinchulin. There's a lot of stuff. That's like that's more that's pork. Suspicious. I know, but I can't give you specifics. I'm kind of blanking out. I don't know why. I mean, he didn't know how to answer that, so I don't know how to feel about that. Cause I mean, there's a lot of cuts. Thomas is sus. The fiesta that my family loves to celebrate is New Year's. Well, a staple is asado. E like how I told you, there's like matambre, entraña, chinchulin. Okay, there you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that combo. The fiesta that my family loves to celebrate is New Year's. Well, a staple is asado, e like how I told you, there's like matambre, entraña, chicharrón, okay, uh, chorizo. Yeah. Chorizo. But that's yeah. like the generic, right? She is definitely Latina all the way. For music, like we're known for tango, but really was merengue. Was merengue, bachata. Playing in the background is gonna be cumbia, like. Ch -ch 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 like all our cousins are gonna be like that and everybody oh, that is gonna dope. have like the messy jersey and it's gonna mm -hmm. always be playing soccer or football in their background latino everyone is gonna be like soccer oh, no, it's crazy no, no, no. Like, that's like the whole house or yeah, dale campeon, dale yeah, dale campeon. campeon. <laughs> Messi. we're gonna be making chocotorta flan gelatina Oh, she knows what she's talking about. She's way more well spoken than I am. But then again, it could be her. She's doing too much. It could be her. Yo, this is definitely like Among Us. This is like Among Us right now. She's doing too much. Oh, she knows what she's talking about. She's way more well spoken than I am. She was way more prepared than me, of course. Yo, if she's the advisor, I quit. So the thing about Dominicans is like, they will find an excuse to party anytime, any day. It doesn't even matter. So it's funny because like, in DR, even though July 4th and Thanksgiving is a holiday only in America, if they hear about it, they're like, all right, that's a good day to party. So <laughs> okay, we're going to party that true. day too. We celebrate Christmas uh, December 24th, and then mm -hmm. we party all night long. Latinos never celebrate on the 25th. That's facts. We'd spend the whole night, I'm talking about like till four in the morning, listening to music, dancing, by hey, 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 all hey. that stuff. And then we all wake up until like 1 p.m. the next day. Okay, so my favorite tradition is around Christmas time. We all know we love Christmas, right? So we make tamales. My grandma lives in a place called Venezia and she has like a big quinta or like finca. Wait, that's so cool. I'm like so happy someone said quinta. You normally get it with your family and you make like... Yeah, quince. Yeah, quince. A long time. Just in case y'all didn't know, quince is short for quinceanera. Um, quinceanera is uh, 17th birthday. Fun fact. Table and each person has a responsibility. So one person puts like the masa and then the other person puts like the pork or That's some cute. people like to put carrots and bell pepper or chila. I really enjoy it because it's, you know, when you get to be with your family and you're all kind of like doing something all together, you have your music, you have your laughs and you have someone like scolding you because you're doing it wrong. Okay, the scolding part, true. So my favorite family tradition party is Three Kings Day. It's very, very popular in Puerto Rico. It's about two weeks after Christmas. You and your whole family, you go to their house, you're Christmas caroling, but Latino 
traditional style, right? So you have music, <laughs> instruments, dancing, singing, and then you have a big party, you have food, you have arroz con gandules, you have all types of meat, drinks, we have coquito there, and coquito. you just stay up all night. Sometimes She's you can have coffee and pretty everything. Educated on this. And so that's kind of one of my most favorite family traditions turned party style. I hope I did a good job representing my country. I then asked a really good question, which any Argentino would know, and I'm stupid for messing up because I don't know, I just drew a blank, I couldn't think. I don't know why I like that so much. Like, let's say it's like an Asian girl, and like she, like this one right here, she's Asian, but she knows Spanish. I like that. Did I ever tell you about the one Asian girl that I used to work with? And she had the most Southern accent I've ever seen in my life, heard in my life. It was just so cool to me. Like, I just wanted to hear her talk all day because it was just so off to me. <laughs> like, she was, she literally was from, like, the east side, bro. And it was crazy. It's crazy hearing that. I love that. And I just love how she's saying the coquito, the but the be the be the be. I like that shit. You did a good job representing like my that. country. I then asked a really good question, which any Argentino would know. And I'm stupid for messing up because. Thomas, you're out. You're literally out. Just say it. You're out. I don't know. I just drew a blank. I couldn't think of it. Angela talked less and shared less wow. details about you not vote story. Thomas? I'm gonna vote Tomas because Tomas? other people might vote him. Andre, I would have liked to see more about his family traditions. Tomas? Tomas? I'm gonna just say Andre. Where's the passion, bro? No, I don't know, man. I'm gonna say Alki. We counted all wow. the votes for round two and we have a tie between oh, no. Andre oh, and Tomas. Ooh. I knew how I reached out to These people are crazy. <laughs> we will go into a tiebreaker where each of you will have 20 seconds to state your case. Tomas, you're up first. I understand why you might have chosen me, and I did mess up on something pretty stupid, which is uh, <laughs> the meat cuts and all that of asado and dumb. Yeah, obviously. Oh, you already know what he's about to get voted off for. <laughs> oh no, I feel so bad. But Eileen knows for a fact that there's some things that somebody that's not from Argentina would have said and I don't know I feel like we could we as soon as her and I started speaking we like connected you guys could tell so. that was a terror he just I don't know if he's just not good with talking with groups but that was terror you you said a whole lot of nothing that was like equivalent to a filler episode of Dragon Ball Z or One Piece it was filler you just did just said a whole lot of nothing <laughs> And once again, I don't think there's any Hispanics in the U the Uchiha. So I don't know about okay, <laughs> He know what he's doing. He's smart. This man started speaking in Spanish or Portuguese, whatever the fuck he's talking in. Não acho que eu sou brasileiro. É loucura man, votar em mim, mas tudo bem. O, okay, o Tomás okay, também okay. não parece que ele parece que ele é argentino, então eu também não sei por que vocês votaram na gente. That's basically what I said. I hope you guys understood. <laughs> Just because you speak Portuguese doesn't make you Brazilian. I'm gonna still vote Tomás. Andre. I'm voting Andre. Damn, my... they still voted Andre! I'm quite upset that I'm in this predicament because they already know they're getting We have counted all the votes, and the person eliminated this round is. <laughs> oh. oh my god, my heart. Andre. Oh. There we go. Oh, Whoa! I don't know why. <laughs> I think they connected better in terms of culture. That is crazy. For the first time in my life, I've been accepted into the Latino community. <laughs> So I feel like the biggest misconception that I get is the language and the accent. I lived in the United States illegally for a while, so I lost a little bit of Spanish, and I feel like I knew, met a lot of Latinos who didn't speak Spanish. So a lot of people are like, oh, if you don't speak Spanish, you're not Latino, right? And I'm like, no. And then, since I do speak fluent English, guys like expect me to have a sexy Latina accent, and I'm like, no, I speak fluent English. That doesn't make me less of a Latina. Just from looking at my face, yeah, I, I am Korean, I'm Asian. Um, my grandparents, my parents, all from Korea, but they all lived in Argentina for 30 years, and I was born there, I lived there for 15 years. Even there, people used to always call me like, I sos una chinita, which means like, oh, like you're an Asian chick, like you don't belong here. And even here in the US, when I do speak Spanish, they're like, why are you speaking Spanish? Like, who let you speak Spanish? And I'm like, excuse me? Like, and so I think that's a really big misconception that just because you look Asian, because you might not look like a standard person who comes from Latin America, that you can't be Latina, Latino, Latinx, and that you always have to speak Spanish. But you really don't. I think it's the culture that 
matters, um, the music, what you share with others. So, yeah. All right. First of all, the, the misconception about like all Dominicans is the fact that none of them want to take the knowledge that they have any African descent. Okay, like you so mentioned to any Dominican that like, oh, like you you have black in you, right? They're like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not black, I'm not black. Your skin tone, your hair, everything, you have African descent in you. You have to acknowledge it. Colorism and racism in the Latino community is huge. It's a problem. I didn't grow up speaking Spanish and it wasn't until middle school that I took Spanish classes and so I always passively knew it but never actively got the chance to learn it. Sometimes you feel like, oh, I might not be Latinx enough or Latina enough because I don't speak fluent Spanish. The main thing I want to talk about really is just like emphasizing that there's not one cookie cutter of what it means to be Latina as long as you share. Hey, fuck AirPods, by the way. If you got AirPods, you a bitch. Yes, like valued yes, and like communities, all yeah. of that is really except for Island, Aylin, Aylan. Important. Okay, I have something super funny to ask. Vacunas. Do you guys uh, have uh, another thing? Oh my yeah, god. Birthmark? Oh, bur yeah, 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 yeah. Vacunas. I got a vacunas too. Yeah, see. Childhood, just in case y'all didn't know, it's at the bottom of the screen. Uh, refers to childhood birthmarks caused by the BCG vaccine used against tuberculosis. Yeah. I, I am so jealous. I tell my mom that that's so crazy you said that. Notice? No. Wait, hold up. Damn. Notice who wasn't excited about this. Tomas. Look! Look at him! I, I, am so I knew it! Imposter! I'm so jealous. I tell my mom that that's so crazy you said that. I tell every Dominican this. I am so jealous of every Dominican that has that little mark there because I'm like, bro, like I can't even be like, look, look, I have it. I'm like, look at him. <laughs> he want to sit at the table so bad. <laughs> it's one of those they just be standing there trying to join in on the conversation, just standing like outside the circle, just listening to the conversation. No, look, you can't sit over here. Look at him. I mean, I don't have it. I was born in the U.S. and I like I didn't get that. The thing is, as long as you know what I'm talking about, I know yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Oh my goodness, I was like, if we don't have the vacunas, you're not Latino. But obviously, yeah, I understand like in certain situations. Man. You just, you just no, made that me means you're Latino. It's okay. It's like the small little things mm. that make a big impact. Exactly. Elki, I feel so bad because I voted for Elki the whole time. But like El Elki brought up the La Vacuna and she knew it and she has it. I'm probably gonna vote for Angela just because she says the most generic things. I think I'm gonna vote for Mas just because I think everyone else is going to and it's better to be safe than sorry. Yo, us Hispanics, we always, you know, you're not a real Hispanic if you don't remember La Llorona, La Llorona. I was so scared of Lyrona growing up, you know? You're not a real Hispanic. Hit the like button if you know who Lyrona is. Again, Tomas. Tomas, and I'm so sorry. I I'm sorry, Tomas. I saved you last round, I can't save you again. The person eliminated this round oh, is Tomas. Out of here. Tomas. Mm. I'm so sorry. He's out. I feel betrayed, stabbed in the back. This is basically my family right now. I'm, I'm getting rid of them. I'm sorry. Do you want to continue the game? Give me a thumbs up if you want to go to round four. Give me a thumbs down if you think you we got them out and want to end the game now. We, I don't know what to do. we got them out. No need to continue. <laughs> Majority has vote. Do y'all think they got the mole out? Yes or no? I think they got him out. I think they got him out. He's out of there. Tomas is out. Get Tomas out. Voted, and we will end the game now. The results. Can I say something real quick? Listen, if any of you guys are still the most, we're gonna have some problems. I swear on <laughs> everything. If the color turns green, you. If there's still a mole in this, this is probably the best mole I've seen on this channel. If there's still a mole in here, that's the best mole I've seen. Cause these four, I think I'm convinced. I'm convinced that they're real. Maybe not David. I don't know. Something about David, too. It's something about David. But then again, I don't know. I, I, I think Thomas is out. Like I said, Thomas was my pick from the jump. I'm going to stick with Thomas. All win. If it's red, the mole is still in the game and you lost. In three, two, one. Let's go! Let's go! I'm so happy. Who was it? The review. The game is over and the Latinos have won. 
That means that the winners will be receiving a cash prize, and we're also going to be gifting them the Akin to Experience, where you'll get to pick your favorite basics from our new interactive <laughs> apparel brand. Okay. Will the mole please raise your hand in three, two, one? Whoa! Ah! Right. Miguel! No, we got I him in the first time. It. it was Literally so painful time. to keep on yeah. voting. My name in the game is Miguel Rosa. My actual name is Michael Rose. I am not a Latino, as you guys guessed. I studied abroad for a semester, and I lived with a bunch of guys that are all Mexican. Andre, I'm so sorry, bro. Oh, don't worry. Me too. I'm what? Michael Rose. I am not a Latino, as you guys guessed. I studied abroad for a semester, and I lived with a bunch of guys that are all Mexican. Andre, I'm so sorry, bro. Oh, don't worry. Me too. No one can speak that perfect. And that's why I thought I messed up because I had to prove myself and I didn't even speak Spanish. And I was like, and this guy just starts spitting the most <laughs> yeah. ever. I'm happy for them. I hope there wasn't too much turmoil and like after that when they were like picking apart other Latinos. Even though Miguel is not a Latin, he has a Latin spirit. Latin is here, like in our minds and in your heart. All right, well, buddy. Family, All right, okay. Family, friends, fun. Yeah, si se puede. Yeah, doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. If you haven't tried this traditional food, it doesn't matter. That doesn't make you any less of a Latino. That just means we're going to have to show you new things. That's all. As long as you know that you're Latino, that's all that matters. But yeah, see you guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode of On Men Out and thanks so much to Skillshare. All right. Well, I, you know, listen. Regardless, I would have won, you know? Um, <laughs> that that was cool. 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 All right, let's stop the bullshit. Not gonna lie, her chin was fucked. <laughs> bro, leave the girl alone, bro. Wait. <laughs>